Okay, let's watch the stage two. Norton Summit, they're about to rip up here on the gas, getting up here before the road closes. A lot cooler conditions today. Oh, it's lovely. It's a lot cooler conditions. Very welcome change. Like the day, with Scott Attic. <laughs> and the Jamis. Hey, Josh, what, how many? Josh, about 17 degrees. It feels way cooler. Celsius. I'm waiting for much faster racing. So Norton Summit was expected as going to be a really fast pace up here, but it was a fast pace by two breakaway riders who posted at 11.44 up Norton's, which is a pretty fair time. But the current calm was set recently by Chris Harper, local Adelaide rider, in 11 minutes flat. 11 minutes flat, 11.00. Previous calm, I think it was 11.06 or something by uh, Thomas de Ghent back in 2016 in the, in the bunch, so... Chris Harper in some good form there. So we're here up at Norton Summit, waiting for the bunch to come up. And here we have the uh, support car. I'm like, how come there's a support car ahead of the bunch? It didn't make any sense. And I realized, huh, there's a breakaway of two riders. So the support car has to go ahead and then wait for them and then come behind them just in case they need any help. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, didn't expect that to happen today. But uh, fantastic viewing. Perfect day for it. Absolutely perfect day for being a spectator and a rider and a riding spectator. All right, let's show you some ASMR, some sounds of the road. Let's go.
the young fella have it. So this is Fox Creek climb. It takes them about three and a half minutes. It's quite a steep little climb. And they did three laps up here. And so he did sort of split the race a little bit in the end. But the leader's jersey did change today from Sam Wellsford, local rider, Adelaide boy. And uh, born in Perth, but raised and trained in Adelaide, as of course all the best cyclists are. And uh, <laughs> it's...